Hey everyone, this is Fire Phoenix. We're going to start up a new LP series. Uh, what's happening with Blaze of Glory? Well, um, so Toa Scorpion and I have decided that I'm going to finish it when he actually finishes Blaze of Glory. I took a look at the rest of the levels that were upcoming and not many of them were changed. So that's what's going to happen there. So instead, we're going to play. Super Mario TKO. Yes, the one that everybody has been alerted to by Proton John. We're gonna let's play along with Proton John. So, here we go. Oh yes, I have a file already. So we'll start up a new one. I think this is a two world demo. It's not as long or or it's not the version that Proton John has. He's got a special version, but whatever. This is good enough. I'm not sure if this is like if this is an updated version, it's like semi or who knows. I don't know. I might this might be the very very first release, so I don't know if it's I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Whatever, we're playing. Very nice music. This is rather old by now, but still very nice. Very enjoyable game. One of the more anticipated ones on SNW Central. Because it's. because of its really nice music, great level design, and just. overall it's. oh shoot. Overall it's very fun. Five red coins. Yep. I believe that, oh, nuts! I believe that Dispari and he's an evil genius are planning on releasing an updated demo. Do not hold me to that. Uh, but I think that's what's happening soon, or sooner or later. So we can look forward to that. Lots of coins. I always liked it when Mario hacks include lots of coins. I guess that means that you can get one-ups easily, but I mean... There's nothing wrong with getting one-ups easily. Yeah, this is an old, the older version, so it doesn't have all the updated like sound effects and boss and goal musics and whatever that Proton John's hack ha or version has. Now, Ivy Grove. I remember seeing screenshots of this game, like when it was still in early development. Things like these, uh, this whole place is based around the little ivy creatures that I'm shooting right now. I remember that the they mentioned that they put the ivies guys, they've set them so they would appear behind the layers. Oh, damn. They would appear behind the layers. And so they could hide behind bushes and things like that, which we uh, I thought was a really ingenious idea. Little bush enemies and they hide behind bushes. Makes perfect sense. Of course, some people complain that it's a little bit tough to see them coming, but whatever, you just gotta have a good eye. Do, 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 do. Very nice, calming music get not too calming. It's nice. It's fast paced, but it fits. Feels like a grassy area. I don't feel a need to really use save states here, so I'm not really gonna bother. I see no reason not that tough. Nuts. As I, I say that, of course, as I get hit. One of the nice things about this is that it uses the um, classic style patch, uh, so when you get hit you don't revert entirely to small Mario, you go down in steps. Of course, one effect of that patch is that um, 
one of the effects of the patch is that the item box, this, you can't store items in the item box uh, normally. So, sorry about that, folks. There were the guys in the hall, were out in the hall talking real loud, and from past experiences recording, I know that this thing picks up like everything. It picks up all the talking in the hallways, the yelling, the shouting, the doors slamming shut. So, and they were talking pretty loudly, so I just decided to, whoa, I just, so yeah, I just decided to go ahead and pause it, let them go away. I don't know where the fifth coin was. Oh well. Wow, those paths appear really fast. I thought it was just a... I don't know. I thought it was just the emulator or something, but no, those paths do appear really that fast. Um... I guess that I will get... No, that's gonna show up loud on the thing. They just slammed that door. I think they're freaking people. There are... What do you do? You live in a college dorm. There's nothing you can do. Unfortunately, it makes recording like this kind of annoying. What do you get? Well... Oh well. Take the good with the bad. So, yeah, let's go for the secret exit. Boink, boink. Jump. Alright. I'm pretty sure they were, the first time I played this, this kind of confused me about there being a part over here, but I guess that's why it's called Junction. So, whatever. And we'll be doing bullet time next video. And I don't need to go that way anymore. Uh, this is about the blue coins, which... You'd think that they would have put a blue coin or two sitting around there where they put the message. But they didn't. Nothing wrong with that, it's just... You'd think they would have an example. Fun fact, that background, who can guess where it's from? That's right, it's from Donkey Kong Country 3, but it's just recolored. It works. I mean, the whole place is supposed to be Green Junction, I guess. So, it makes sense. It's all green in the background. I would get hit there, wouldn't I? Stupid. And for added measure, my fan is going off. Oh, well, whatever. I got so many stupid things happening in this video. People talking, fans going off, because this laptop overheats every freaking, like, ten minutes. Whatever. Save your game. Touch the ball in the attic. And we get a mushroom. Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. But I don't care about you. So, course clear. That's not even really a course, but whatever. It's a save point. So, this has been Let's Play Along... Or let's Play Along with... I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess Let's Play Along with Proton John TKO, whatever. This has been whatever this will be called with Fire Phoenix. Okay, guys, I'll see you when we tackle... When, bleh, when we tackle bullet time. Later.